Hey guys, I am at a secondhand store and I made a video here a while ago. I'm trying to talk loud because the speaker's right next to me. And they had a bunch of inbox trucks from like 2019, 2020 from Spin Master. And I come back, they have some 124 scale great there. They have a small hub TMNT yellow in package. They're a little pricey, um, but I'll show you the 164s in a minute. But we have the Chrome Digger, the Inverse Grave Digger, and two mix one actually no these are different this is the one with the green rims and then this one here has purple rims so i think that's pretty cool they're 20 each so yeah i think that's pretty cool i thought i'd show you guys here's another section they have i haven't looked through it yet just because we'll look through it together but i see a couple s10 avengers that is the mix 21 green digger i believe avenger again orange well, finals avenger from last year on your digger the pink grave digger tons of diggers guys i just need a higher education guys for mix 18 and then i'm i'm pretty much good there's nothing really that i see that i need check that out though monster patrol redo control that's so cool they have some hot wheels around the other sides too they have some green lights don't care about them as much so i'll show a quick overview some hot wheels around here and then um they have a couple more right here these aren't the ones that i was talking about there's other ones near the front but yeah, some pretty cool stuff all around this little kiosk. Here's another one, guys, just sitting right here. They're all just lying around, just trying to look around and find them all. They have a bunch of cool stuff. Pokemon, Hot Wheels, baseball, action figures, and other die casts like M2s and big model cars. Legos, of course, as you can see. Pretty cool. There's another little monster truck. Rev Tread, Hot Wheels. There's a Blue Thunder one over here in the next one. Here, right here, near all the DVDs. Just hiding right there, but I already have both of them. Another little cool find. I didn't even see this. The Goldberg Rev Tread in package, though. I'll just throw up the original video I took of the box of trucks they had. Nothing's changed because there are a lot of people around there right now. But so many cool things in this place. Predator, Hot Wheels, Storm Damage, American Guardian, and Crusader in a random And then there's this. That's cool. That's cool. Even a mixed dirty truck, guys. That's crazy even some brand new things all right we got out of there all i picked up was this crustacean this is like non-existent anywhere online now so in case a buddy wants it a viewer of you one of you guys i got one now all that i really see on ebay are the blue and orange ones ever so i don't think there's been one on ebay for a couple months so i'm gonna i just picked this up it was like 15 dollars. all of them started like 10 dollars. so check that out what is up guys we are back this is the day that i'll be going to the hot wheel store we're going to hit a few antique stores on the way and look at what i found at this one that's something unusual i've never seen superstore exclusives at an antique store for 30 dollars. and then there's that for 10 which isn't bad i recently just got the mud treads grave digger so that's kind of cool that's pretty cool too that's from 2015 it has that type of packaging which i never saw a lot in stores but they have some hot wheels too here but other than that i'll see you guys in the next place we're at a, another antique store guys checking this one out and they have a couple cool things from Monster jam first off they have some old older hot wheels a max i pointed that one out that was sick but it's 20 bucks that one's sick too that's from this year they had a couple others there's one right there there's one right there but for Monster Jam, they have this. And if you guys tuned in to my video the other week, I got the purple one for $10, but this one's $45. They're both about $40 on eBay. So the last one I got was pretty good. I think the purple one's selling for like $5 or so more than the green one. I've been seeing this one sell for like $40. The other one's like $45. So I don't know. They're basically the same price anyway. But it'd be cool to get that and have both a purple and green one in package. But I'm not getting it. And then I also saw this. I know some of the older collectors would love that. I think that's pretty cool too, but it's 25, but it is in package. I don't really know how much those go for. I don't pay attention to those, but this is a pretty cool little booth I just got here. So I'll keep looking around, see if I find anything else that's worth mentioning. Another little vendor, look at that. Some newer ones, the Harley Quinn. I know that was an exclusive to that pack. It's only $3, I don't need it. Scarlet Band and Mudtrez, I actually <laughs> recently got that. That's from a two pack. Um, I already went through this one. I actually didn't see these until right as I started recording. All I had to do was look up, but I do need this Iron Outlaw. I just, I need the plastic base. I had this back in the day, but I made a custom. We have the Pink Virginia Giant, Metal Base, Lucas Oil Crusader, Maniac, Batman, Mudtrez, Max T, Darth Vader, Bounty Hunter, Big and Small Hub, because there's that. We the Joker too. I didn't see that. Red Max D, World Finals. So, so far this is what I'm getting. Definitely gonna get both these because this is only $3. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm really liking this one. This is another booth. They have so many stuff. There's supers in that uh, box, but I did want to show you this super right here, only 25. Um, and then 
here is a golden machines and i actually don't even have a single golden machine and i was like oh cool i may get this and i look and it's 20 dollars, which really that's ebay price if that sometimes they're 15 each i see a marketplace listing all the time for them selling for 15 each and they have all three so i guess i'll leave that even though it's really cool but it's in package anyway i'd want to take it out and then here are some super treasure hunts for the hot wheels collectors i think that's pretty cool all right guys here we are at now then and forever collectibles we have quite a few monster trucks here there's two sections one's right here we can go through some we have the boneyard digger the new school virginia giant natural hornet max d sheer madness grave digger monster mutt bigfoot so many cool things even got some premium hot wheels monster trucks pirates curse some avengers the hot wheels truck another black max d the thrasher there's another one right up here with the five pack check that out that's cool i still need that ultra loco but it's whatever we have a couple son of a diggers the mega rex heavy metal son of a digger a predator back there some pretty cool stuff those are premiums down there then we moved over here around the front there's the 30th purple just picked one of these guys up there's no price so i don't know how much some of these are some have prices some don't but look at them all the drag bus i don't even remember seeing that one to be honest when did that come out i think i may have that i just forgot but a lot of hot wheels monster trucks so as you guys can see some beetles mystery machine a bunch of drag buses just check it all out there's overkill evolution i actually think i may need that because isn't there a difference between the five pack one and the singles i can't remember but that one looks cool i may pick that up um entry glow bounty hunter check it out that looks cool the training truck l for a loco some more hot wheels monster trucks bigfoot 909 the dodge charger thrasher there's an obsession i forgot about that truck there's a couple of red grave diggers iron man zombie hot wheels um mostly looking for the hot wheels monster jam i'll try we'll probably pick this up this is cool this place just doesn't stop going there's so much to look at here obviously it's more of a hot wheels place hot wheel cars and stuff but um it just it's so crazy it's really cool to look at zamex and all that that is so cool. Look at all of them, guys. And this is just one of the aisles. There's like three other versions of these aisles. So awesome. Treasure hunts. So many cool stuff. There's the Porsche. I love it, guys. And we are back home, everybody. What an amazing little antique store hunt. The clips that you saw were just uh, from a few days worth of hunting, maybe two days. Um, I'm picking the video back up like a few days later. And I want to show you guys the stuff that I've gotten lately during the antique store hunts. So as you can see, we got a second 30th anniversary grave digger. If you saw my video about a month ago, maybe not even, I picked up a 30th anniversary grave digger at another antique store for $10. And then I go to this the Hot Wheels store in Radford, then now and forever collectibles. If you guys are around that area and want to check them out. Um, I've made them very known on my channel now because I posted on my story on Instagram. If you're following me on Instagram, I posted a few different things about their shop on my story when I was there. And um, a lot of people didn't seem to even know about it that are actually in that area so i'm glad i was putting a few people in mind but for the people that still don't know radford virginia if you're around there it's near west virginia like 20 minutes down it's near the corner of virginia go check that place out a lot of people in the area probably know what radford is anyway because of the big university there so my first time going there is a place i wanted to check off the list there's only really two hot wheel stores in virginia and i think this one is, is so much better than the other one i've been to the other one i got a couple of loose trucks there when i went there the first time i didn't even get anything when i went there the second time uh to this store i got an overkill evolution so i honestly honestly i thought this was a variant that i needed because i got my overkill evolution in a five pack and i know there's a difference when it comes to the tailgate one says truck toys like this one and unfortunately the one i already had says the same thing so i literally just have two overkill evolutions but that's okay um, i only i was only five dollars so i'll hang this on my wall or unless someone wants it they can trade me for something because there are a few 2018 trucks that i actually need like the batman night glow i need the uh, shocker then and now or like the retro shocker or whatever from 2018 i don't know what's called but i need a couple 2018 trucks so let me know if you guys need this and we can work out a trade but for now i don't mind this being on my wall i don't mind having a second one here's what we have on the back the hot wheels the cyborg shark spider-man iron man captain america overkill and nea blue so those are the two monster jam trucks that i got there and i even got 
Of course, it's a Hot Wheels store, so I got a couple Hot Wheels. And I won't bore you with it, but they have some 2024 castings. This is from 2024 B case. This won't even be in stores for the next couple months. So that is the treasure hunt. There is the logo right there. And you can't really see the treasure hunt logo because it's a bust and it's kind of hard to look behind the cart. Then I got a few Zamax all for $3 each. The AE86 Toyota, the 720S McLaren. And then this one at the top was at that uh, one antique store that I went to that had the Golden Machines mock wear, which I did not get. I'm not paying more than eBay prices. I saw one of those for like $15, $20 one time not too long ago. Then I got these on another Walmart that I didn't record. And speaking of the Walmart that I did not record getting stuff at, this was like about a week ago. I finally pulled the trigger on these hot wheels monster trucks they're older but we have the humvee that has that nice camouflage livery on it and then the crush delivery with the shark in the back and then we have the jurassic park jeep wrangler right there that's pretty cool so i guess we'll open these really quickly and get them out of the way because there's nothing too special i've been seeing these on the pegs for a while and i just now decided to get them the truck is finished in a matte color and a matte finish. We have the little hood scoop on the front, the hood van, I should say. The front bar, I think that looks pretty cool. This is the first time we've gotten a Humvee, haven't we? I think it's the first time. And then on the top, it says Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. That cool little font, I like that. And then there's the back, so there's that. We'll do the uh, Jurassic Park Jeep Wrangler now. This one has an orange crush car, and then here it is. It's in a very weird color. It's not like a silverish, it's almost like a light tan color very weird looking but i do like the red wheels i think that looks cool the jurassic park logo on the side with the jeep logo and the red stripe right here and then some hood scoops and then the jeep grill that they actually detail thank god and then here's the back with the hot wheels monster X logo logo on the rear with some tail lights that's pretty cool there's the third and final one this is crush delivery let's get out of the box this one, in my opinion, is the coolest out of the two. I think they're making another one in 2024, but it's not a shark. It's a different type of thing. I forget. I like the crack look in the glass right there. This is a plastic piece. There's a shark in there. You can see a starfish. Super detailed. I like that. And then the front is just finishing like this matte, like navy blue with caution around the hood and the side. The Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo at the top, a blue tint on the windshield, and a Hot Wheels logo at the bottom in white and with the Crush Delivery logo and kind of like some teeth and eyes right there. So a pretty neat truck, not going to lie. I wish I would have picked that up sooner because that's actually a pretty cool truck got this at another store for literally like a dollar this is a zamac for those who don't know walmart exclusive back in the day and i got this at that one antique store that had a superstore exclusive now that thing was 30 bucks each and i didn't get it and then inbox trucks they had two inbox trucks for 10 each but this corsair is all i ended up getting and finally at that one antique store that had some loose trucks and baggies i got this iron outlaw right here this is one that i needed i had this one back in 2008 or 9 got it new this one is actually from 2008 and um, I got mine about eight or nine and I made it into a custom Escalade back in 2013 for my YouTube channel too. I don't know if the video is still public, but I regret doing it because it was my only one that I had. I ended up getting in a mud treads the year after that, but I never had the normal red and black iron alloy. So now I do, this is a plastic base. I actually do have the metal base version of this one, I believe. I'm not completely sure. I can't really remember, but I think they did make a metal based version of this. And if I don't have it, I guess I need it because I know they made it, but I'm pretty sure I do. So now I got the plastic based version once again, kind of nostalgic seeing it. And then at that same store, I got that 4GT Zamac at. I got this Hot Wheels for literally three bucks. It's a little dirty. It just needs a simple wash. This is a shocks version. As you can see, you can see the metal at the bottom and you can kind of see the red shocks through the roll cage right there in the bottom. It is bouncy, as you can see. You can push down and it pushes down with it. Um, not in the best condition, but it's not really a big deal. For $3, it's really not too bad. Again, a little wash will fix it right up, I believe. This is, I believe, the very last variant that I needed for these, this uh, blue and gold and black Hot Wheels. They're, they made like four of these and I think I have them all now, so that's cool. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Some decent little antique store finds. We went to a lot and I think we got some pretty neat stuff. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.